Good morning, y'all. It's Cody, Cody's Bait and Tackle, Warsaw, Missouri. Going to give a little bit of a walk through the shop, a little bit of a spoonbill report, uh, catfish report. Uh, Got to be real quick here. I've been busy as can be already this morning. Uh, beautiful morning here. Look at that sunrise fixing to come up. You guys get out there and see it in person. All right, a lot of new stuff come in this shop this week. We have got grizzly coolers everywhere. Uh, all different sorts of stuff. I'm going to zoom that out there a little bit. We got rain gear in. A uh, ton of mad cat rods. We don't even have room for everything we got right now, you guys. So if y'all need anything, get in here this weekend. Get it picked up. Mad Cat Reels. We got boxes and boxes of stuff just setting because we have no room for it. Uh, all kinds of crappie rods, crappie combos. We got some of them new Whisker Seeker catfishing rods in. Uh, them was really getting talked up big. We got lots of Meat Hunter neon rods in, spinning, casting. Uh, Meat Hunter two-piece rods for guys wanting to do the bank snagging. We got the, a bunch of them in this week. We still got some of the neon ones there too. Uh... We got more grizzly coolers back there. We got Rapala rain gear in. Uh, pretty much anything you could think of. Looks like I already got a customer coming in here. Uh, we got lots of spoony divers in. Lots of dipsy divers in. Plenty of hooks in. Uh, everything you could imagine to do with crappie we've got right now. I mean, all crappie right there. Uh, white bass hybrids. Uh, pretty well, we've got everything you could want. Shad nets, angle coolers. We got more great big orders coming in in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we don't know where we're going to put everything at. So uh, get in here, see us. We got plenty of reels right now, I think. Uh, got a full reel case plus some. As far as spoonbill, you guys, there's spoonbill scattered on Lake of the Ozarks all the way from the 40 mile marker all the way up to the 65 bridge. And I mean scattered. It's ones and twos. There's nothing schooled up. Uh, I honestly think all the fish are getting scattered out before they make it up. Uh, I think the boats are keeping them scattered. A lot of guides running down river. Uh, I haven't been down that far this year. I've kind of been staying up on Lake of the Ozarks or fishing up on Truman. Which on Truman, all your fish pretty well. There's still a few in the main lake, but they're really, really hard to hit. Uh, really hard to hit. They're moving so fast. Yesterday, they was, when I did hit one, they was just screaming. Screaming. Uh Pretty well all the fish are from Tally Bend up in the river. You can get back towards ZZ Bridge, back towards Berry Bend, and you might hit one, and you might not. I mean, and you better be going fast, as fast as them fish are, are moving, and they're going both directions. These fish don't even know which way to which way to travel right now, and I don't, I don't understand it. Uh, I think the water temps are warmed up too early this year, kind of changed everything on them. I've been catching fish going up river. I've been catching fish that are booking it down river. Uh, some of the hardest hitting ones we had yesterday was actually coming down river. Uh, they, there was quite a bit of current coming out of the river up there past Osceola. And when you'd hit one, man, it would just take off like crazy. Uh, even the little guys was screaming out. Uh, that's really about all I've got. If you guys like jerking lead, go Osceola up uh Roscoe Taborville they're catching them up there pulling lead catching them casting uh the live scope guys are just tearing them up up there uh really that that's about all I've got uh catfish you know there's a real good catfish bite a lot of them are still scattered out shallow if you can find anywhere people's been cleaning spoonbill catfish around it Worms, chicken liver, fresh shed, anything they will eat around them gut piles. Uh, as far as crappie, there I've, I've been getting asked a lot about crappie. I've been seeing a lot of guys crappie fishing up on the lake, down on the river. Uh, they're all up in your creeks pretty well. Big pea gravel coves. Uh, they're pretty well staging up, fixing to spawn right now, you guys. Uh, it's time to get out there. Most of them are four to ten foot deep off some of them out just 
off them pea gravel banks and in the middle of them creeks still. Uh, that's really about all I have. I'm going to jump off here. Got another customer pulling in here. So, have a good one. Good luck, y'all. Look forward to seeing you guys this weekend. Me and Jessica will be in here all weekend. Uh, I'm slowing down a lot on my guiding on Spoonbill. I've, the trips I've had canceled, I'm not rebooking. I'll be in the shop every weekend. Uh, me and Jessica both will be. So, that way we can try and help you guys out a little bit better. Uh, weekends have been getting real crazy in here. And it it's getting to the point where we have to have two people in here. So that's going to slow my guiding down on weekends a lot. Uh, but that's all I've got for you. Have a good one, y'all. Good luck this weekend. And take care.